our second day of online preschool with Miss Nicole. So, I don't know if you've noticed, probably not because we're not at school, but if you look at the calendar, it is not March anymore. We've moved to a new month. We've moved to a new month. And it's April. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But we're going to do, you know, sometimes in class we do a super fast circle time because we have so much to get done. So today we're going to do a really speedy circle time. So because of that, I needed a helper. Caroline, come be my helper. She's going to hold our flag. She's going to help us with the pledge. And here we go. Everybody stand up. Put your hand on your heart. And let's say the pledge together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we're going to sing God Bless America really fast. Not our slow version. Ready? Here we go. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Good job. All right, now Caroline, I'm going to have you come back in just a minute for weather time, okay? Because okay. we're gonna be, today's all about w w weather. All right, let me get my flag put away. And we're gonna move over to our calendar. I've got my light bulb. Some of you always pick the light bulb. All right, we've got our light bulb, but let's talk about first our months. Remember our month song? We got January, February, <laughs> March, and we've got to say it nice and loud. April, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. So our new month is April, and we've got a really easy number. What number is it, everybody? It's one. Hold up one finger. All right, let's sky right our number one. Straight line down, then we're done. That is how you make a one. All right, so we've got our one. So today is, whoa, whoa. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? It is W and it's whoa, whoa, Wednesday, which starts with a W, a W. So today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, April 1st, yesterday was t -t Tuesday, tomorrow will be Thursday, let's have fun, let's have fun. Okay, let's do a quick review of our focus wall that's behind me. All right, who remembers our color that we've been talking about? It's, what color? Blue! Blue, do you remember how to spell it? B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi-ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. The big sky is blue. The ocean is too. Hi-ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. All right, real quick. What's our number? It's 15, it's 15. Now we need two numbers to make a 15. We need our one. Straight line down, then we're done. That is how we make a one. And we need our five. Remember, we like to put a hat on him, give him a long neck and a round belly. He sure looks silly. Put a hat on him, a long neck and a round belly. He sure looks silly. Okay, our W, wah, wah. make that W sound. Wah, wah, wah. And then our shape is a diamond. A diamond. If we cut it in half, if we cut it in half, remember it's two triangles. Okay, let's go over to our board. And I know in most of your packets, if you already picked it up, you have 
Thor Scholastic. We always have so much fun doing these together in class. But today, I thought, since we've got to do our weather for circle time, we'll talk a little bit about the weather at the window. Then we'll do our weather scholastic. So go ahead and maybe have mom or dad get this out for you, or maybe you already have it ready. But Caroline, can you go over to the, to the window and let's see what the weather is? Okay, Caroline, take a peek. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Or is it cloudy today? No, Caroline, come on over. Now, what do you think? Because today it's been, um, it's kind of been, what? It's been um, sunny. I don't see a cloud. You know, not right now, but has there, was there clouds earlier, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit. And maybe throughout the day, I think we're supposed to see some sun and some clouds. So which one would that be on our weather board? Would it be sunny? Would it be windy? Stormy? Partly cloudy? Foggy? Rainy or cloudy? I think it's going to be partly cloudy. Yeah, partly cloudy. And remember, we talk about partly cloudy when we can see the sun, but we can also see a lot of clouds in the sky a little bit too. Now, Caroline, do you think it is uh, really hot like we need our swimsuits? No. Really cold? No. What do you think? I think it's between warm and hot. Okay, so maybe right here in the middle, kind of warmish, cool maybe, depending on where we are. It's not going to be really hot because hot... We're not wearing shorts today, are we? No. No, no. So, right here in the middle, kind of warmish, cool, and partly cloudy. That's our weather. That's our weather. That's our weather today. It's partly cloudy and warm. That's our weather today. Now, what letter does weather start with? Starts with a W. Wah, wah. Weather starts with a W. I've got a couple things that we're going to do today, but I thought, since Caroline's my helper and I'm going to send her, send her away in a minute, I thought we would talk a little bit about what we wear during different weather. Now, Caroline, if it's sunny, we need what? Our sunglasses. Oh, yes. We need our sunglasses. Now, if it is maybe just a light rain, kind of rainy, we might need, what do you think? You can keep the sunglasses on. Okay. What do you think you need? A rain jacket. We need a raincoat. If it's rainy. Now, if it's really rainy. And maybe even stormy. We might need not just an umbrella, a raincoat, but we also might need big old, uh, well, did I have it right? Rain boots, just get your, I think so. Big old rain boots. So if it's really stormy, we might need all of these things. But what if? We turn these rain boots into snow boots because the weather is super cold and snowy and beautiful. Oh, I miss the snow. We didn't get any snow this year. But if it's snowy, we might need not just a coat and not just boots. But we also might need a hat, maybe even gloves too. Because when we have different kinds of woof, woof weather, we get to dress differently too. Caroline, thank you so much for your help. You can take this and you can go offset if you would like. And thank you. Can I come back? Look, we are gonna get right to our two books. So make sure you've got all your things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need your Scholastic and you're gonna need our weather book that we're gonna do in just a minute. So let's go, let us look at our Scholastic. On the very front, it says, my wild 
weather day. Find the title for me. Now, what kind of weather do you think she's standing in? Does it look like it's sunny? Mm -mm. She wishes she could play soccer today, I bet. But because of this wild weather, the stormy weather, I bet she doesn't get to play. It says, I had my big soccer game today with some very wild weather. I wonder if she kept playing. Hmm. All right, let's open it up. And mom and dad, they can always write their name here. It gives them good practice to practice writing their name. And if they're not quite comfortable doing it by themselves, maybe write it for them in a yellow marker and then have them just write on top. Okay, let's see here. We've got our first page. And a lot of times we talk about the different boxes first. So in our, in our scholastic, let's look at the little bubble, our little dialogue bubble. It says the weather changes six times. How did it affect my game? I'll tell you all about it. So she must have had a lot of different weather during her soccer game. Let's look at the, the blue box, the blue box, because she says up here that the weather went wild this day. In the blue box, it says, it started out, what do you think? She's blowing out air right there. And we can see our breath when it's really chilly or cold. I put on long sleeve shirt and I could see my breath in the air. Let's look at the yellow box. Then it got hot. The sun came out. It was 75 degrees. I got sweaty. Well, that's why she's drinking a lot of water. And then in the orange box, she says, it got wa wa windy. The sky turned gray. The wind made it harder to kick the ball. And then in our green box, it rained, which made it get all what? Muddy. We played in the rain and it was so much fun. I got Muddy. I got muddy. Uh-oh. Purple box. This is not my kid's favorite thing. There was lightning. We had to stop playing and they had to go inside to stay safe. But then in the red box, look, there's a rainbow. The storm ended, the sun came out, and we finished the game. Go! Let's look at the back side. Now here's where you might need a little bit of help from mom or dad. Now this says dress for the weather and Caroline helped us dress for the weather just a few minutes ago. Choose a weather word, write it under the correct outfit. So mom and dad, another thing you could do here is you could write the word in yellow for them and then have them trace over it because they may not be able to write these independently. But you need to help figure out which one goes where, okay guys? Look, we've got a shirt, shorts, flip flops, and this looks like a little sun hat. Do you think this is for cool weather, hot weather, rainy, or snowy? We would probably need to put the word hot right there. Now what about this outfit? Looks like they've got a puffy coat, some boots, some mittens, a scarf, and some, oh, some snow bibs and a sweater. What do you think we're gonna put right here? What word? Snowy. Snowy's our word. Then we've got oh, a red jacket, some red sneakers, pants, and a shirt. Well, what do you think? We've got two words left, cool and rainy. So which one do you think? Cool. Cool's gonna go right here. And then this last one, looks like there's an umbrella and some boots, so it's gotta be rainy. It's gotta be rainy. We've got a question. In which kind of weather should you go inside to stay safe? Remember in our story, the little girl had to go inside for one type of weather. Do you remember what it was? It was the stormy weather when it was lightning. So go ahead and circle our thunderstorm picture for me. Go ahead and circle that one. 
because that's when we need to make sure we are not playing outside because that is too wild. That weather's too wild. Okay. Good job with our Scholastic. I love these, especially when they go along with what we're going to do in class. So now we're going to move on to our weather book. It says, what will our w w weather be today? Now, I am lucky because my little girl, Addison, she did this book last year with Miss Melanie. So I grabbed hers and I'm going to use it as an example to show you in just a minute. But I thought I would share one of my books from our library at my house as well. So in your book, and your pages might not be in the same order as Addison's, and that is okay, that is okay. And your pictures don't even need to look just like Addison's do, okay? So her first page was a raindrop. It says rainy. So here's what I want you to do. Get a blue crayon, and I want you to color in your raindrop for me, okay? Color in your raindrop. This is an easy page to do. Show mom and dad how you can color inside the lines though, okay? For rainy, just color in your raindrop. All right, the next picture that you're gonna work on this is one of my favorites. So in your book, find the picture of your sun. Go ahead and get maybe your yellow or your orange, or maybe even you wanna use both and color your sunshine for me. I love sunny weather. We finally got some sunshine and hopefully it's gonna be sunny the rest of the day so you guys can play outside. When it's sunny out, we get to play, we get to ride bikes and go on walks. We've loved it when it's been sunny at my house. Sometimes it can be really hot with the sunshine, like in the desert, they have a lot of really hot and dry weather. Okay, if everybody can find your snowy picture, your snowy picture. Now, Addison last year used some glue and some glitter. So I told your moms and dads that if you wanted, or if they had glitter, that you could use some glitter on this page. All you need to do is put a little bit of glue on the snowflake and then sprinkle a little bit of glitter on there. It can be white glitter, it can be silver glitter, anything that shimmers. But if you don't have any glitter, then you know what? You can either leave this page just the way it looks, or you can try to color it white, maybe find a white crayon or something else. Maybe if you have white paint, it's up to you. Or you can just leave this one blank because it's already, it's already white. What's really cool is this animal, this rabbit, He's completely snow white because guess what? He lives in the snow and he, God made him so that he would blend in with the snow. It helps to protect him. Isn't it cool how God does that? Even with weather things and animals, it's kind of one of the ways that he protects them. Let's see if I can find another picture of some cool snow. Oh, sometimes. We get a lot of snow. In fact, look at this. Did you know that no snowflake, no two snowflakes, no three snowflakes are exactly alike? They're all different, but they're made up of ice crystals and they have different little points. And if we could take a microscope or a magnifying glass and catch a snowflake on our hand and then look at it, they would look something like this. It's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. All right, let's find our next page. And yours again, it might not be in this order and that's okay, that's okay. Let's go to this one. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. The stormy page, the stormy page. And you know, sometimes 
We have really bad thunderstorms in Arkansas. Sometimes they wake us up in the middle of the night. So go ahead and get a black crayon, color your storm cloud a dark black, and if you want, you can color your lightning bolt yellow. Like usually I have my class to yellow, but last year I think Miss Melanie had some really cool glitter paper. Parents, you could even use a piece of tin foil if you wanna make it shiny or shimmery, that's up to you. But a yellow lightning bolt would be really cool too. So that's our stormy page. And wasn't the stormy weather what the little girl wasn't supposed to play in? So never play when there's lightning. Okay, so finish coloring your cloud. Finish coloring your cloud. And sometimes when we have storms like that, sometimes we even have hail, which is like a big ball of ice. And another type of wild weather, and there, were, there have been places that have had these lately, tornadoes. That's really wild weather. That's really wild weather. All right, and the last page we're gonna do is our partly sunny or partly cloudy page. Now, what I like to do with my class is I like to take a couple cotton balls. In fact, I like to take three cotton balls and I'll stretch them apart and then I'll glue them on to the cloud and then we just color our sun. Or if you wanna get fancy, parents, you are welcome to. You could do a piece of construction paper here like Addison did. But I usually pull apart some cotton balls to make my cloud nice and puffy. And then we color our sunshine. And that is our woof woof weather book. I would love to see pictures of you working on your weather book. I would love to see, you can post them to the Facebook page um, you can send them to me and I'll send them to Miss Teresa and she can post them. But we love seeing you guys doing your schoolwork. It just makes us so happy because we miss you so much. We miss you so much. So our weather book. After you're done with your weather book, you can almost keep track of what the weather is. While we're kind of on this little mini vacation from each other, Maybe you want to keep track of how many days it's raining. So on the back of your page, you could just put a one, a little dash, like, yep, we had one day of rain. But maybe you have three days of rain and you want to go one, two, three. It'll give you something to do. Maybe we have a lot of sunny days. Wouldn't it be cool to let me know how many days we've had sunshine or how many days we've had rain. I really don't think we're gonna get any snow, but keep track of it in your weather book, okay? Now, we've got one last thing that we're gonna talk about before we go for today, okay? And that is that I asked you guys to start finding some W things for our Friday ABC bag. And I wanted to let you know that I've already had a few friends send me some things. So our first friend, and here he is. Are you ready to see one of your friends from class? Oliver! Oliver's got something that starts with a W. It's a woof woof watermelon! Oliver, I love that picture. It made me smile so big and it made me want to dig into that watermelon with you. Okay. Now, my next friend that sent me a picture, well, we all know this guy, Sam. And guess what? You're never going to believe one of the things that he has in his picture. Are you ready? You ready to see it? Okay. We know Sam's favorite character is Batman. Well, guess what? Look at his watch. Look at his watch. It's a... Batman watch. Watch starts with W. And then if you can look over in the windowsill, I think, oh wait, I just thought of something else. Sam's sitting in front of a window. We've got Woody over there. That's really cool, Sam. Okay, and there's one last friend. I think we may have had a sneak peek. Oh yeah, we did have a sneak peek. 
you know, why we had a sneak peek. Because this dude got a haircut and he doesn't even look the same. He looks like he's grown like 10 feet. In it, we love your haircut. Look at handsome dude. And you got, you're holding a certain color crayon. Anybody know what color crayon Emmett's holding? Whoa, whoa, white. Hey, thank you, Oliver, Sam, and Emmett for sending in pictures of some things for our virtual ABC bag. I'm going to share my ABC bag with you on Friday, on Friday, and we're also going to do a few more W things, mm -hmm. and we'll do a story together, but we're going to wrap up today, but don't forget, you've got a little bit of a homework assignment, okay? If you want to send me a picture of you with something that starts with W, send that to me. Your mom knows how to get a hold of me, and then... The other thing that you're supposed to be working on is your weather book. Keep track of the weather days. And then we will get together on Friday for another circle time, okay? I'm going to be sending your parents some info about how we're going to do a little Friday friend day on Zoom, too. So I will see you on Friday for more W fun. See you all on Friday, on Friday, on Friday. See you all on Friday for letter W fun.